teacher talk in sports, what it does would do how we live. And sometimes you hear about a team backing into the playoffs. You know, maybe they lost their last three games. Maybe they lost their regular season finale. Uh, but a team that was a heavy favorite somehow lost, dealt with injuries. And, you know, while they aren't clicking on all cylinders, that team still reached the postseason. Maybe that isn't the best analogy because the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs have been going on, starting with 16 drivers, uh, getting cut to 12. And after yesterday's race that was won by Kyle Larson at Roval, um, cut down to a all I know is that when I went to sleep last night I believed Alex Bowman was in the playoffs still uh, he had advanced and Joey Logano fell short I woke up and found out it's actually the other way around due to a disqualification. Uh, so, so this is via NASCAR.com. Number 48 car disqualified after Roval race. Alex Bowman will not advance to round of eight. So awful news. Uh, so again, Hendrick Motorsports thought all four of their drivers had advanced to the round of eight. Uh, but as you see, Bowman wheeled the car to an 18th place finish in Sunday's NASCAR Cup Series race. Final race of the round of eight and provisionally advanced by nine points. However, the vehicle was determined to be too light in post-race technical inspection, disqualifying the result and dropping Bowman to a 38th place finish. Fortunately, 48 had an issue and did not meet minimum weight, said Brad Moran, manager director of the NASCAR Cup Series. We put the car to the side. We continued on. We gave them the opportunity to fuel the car as well as purge the water system and add water. So we gave them every opportunity to make minimum weight. We ran them back through. Unfortunately, they were late again. They were allowed a half percent weight break which is for usage of fluids and so on that's about 17 pounds we backed the car back off we backed the car back off the scales ran it back on and then unfortunately it was the same weight so the car had a weight issue all the other cars cleared inspection the 48 did it and that ends up in a disqualification so heartbreak for Alex Bowman, who um, apparently isn't going to advance to the round of eight. Now, we will see if, um, you know, an appeal takes place um, that hasn't been successful um, recently. I will take a look at Austin Dillon. But anyhow, with that news, and if it stands, we see Alex Bowman no longer in the top eight. This is Austin Konensky of Motorsport. Um Joey Logano moves into that eighth slot. So we got Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, Tyler Reddick, William Byron, uh, Brian Blaney, Denny Hamlin, Chase Elliott, and Joey Logano. Honestly, no huge surprises amongst this eight, um, you know, which is cool, but sometimes it's fun seeing an underdog uh, get through and you know, keep advancing in the playoffs. But anyhow, um, currently on DraftKings Sportsbook, their odds for the NASCAR Cup Series Championship uh, with the eight drivers remaining. Really no surprise, Kyle Larson is the favorite at plus 370. Uh, Christopher Bell, plus 450. Tyler Reddick, plus 500. Ryan Blaney, plus 600. Denny Hamlin also plus 600 looking for his first NASCAR Cup championship. William Byron plus 650. Chase Elliott plus 1,000. And Joey Logano plus 1,200. So no real complete long shot. Uh, you know, Logano went 12 to 1. I wouldn't necessarily consider a long shot. But who do you believe will win the NASCAR uh, Cup Series Championship this year? Um, I had predicted once the playoffs started that Tyler Reddick would take it home. So, you know, let's see if that comes to fruition or not. And let's see if... Alex Bowman decides to appeal. Um, Alex Bowman and his team decides to appeal the decision to DQ his car because it did not reach weight. Man, um, you know, crazy news to wake up to this morning. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.